Hello everyone, welcome to a short presentation prepared by Quantipedia.com, the encyclopedia of quantitative trading strategies. Today we would like to show you one idea for an uncommon trading strategy which is suitable as a hedge during times of stress on equity markets. So let's start. Nothing lasts forever and this definitely stands true for financial markets. Economies and markets have their seasonality and cyclicality where bull markets alternate with bear markets. Bull markets are connected with particularly good performance of stocks and profiting investors. However, on the other hand, during bear markets, investors tend to lose in the failing equity markets. Therefore, during these stressful times, it might be better for practitioners to invest in a portfolio that is negatively correlated with the equity market. Everybody wants to gain profit instead of counting losses. We at Quantipedia are continually building a database of ideas for quantitative trading strategies derived out of an academic research paper motivated by the recent fail of the S&P 500 index at the end of 2018. We have added a new filtering field into our screener. You can use it to find strategies that can be utilized as a hedge or diversification to equities during bear markets. We would like to present one strategy that is profitable itself, but with an added value of negative correlation with the equity market. There is strong evidence that investors have preference for lottery-like assets, which are the assets that have a relatively small probability of a large payoff, or in other words, big skewness. Therefore, it should be profitable not to play the lottery, but rather the lottery ticket issuer. We can achieve that by shorting the commodities with a high skewness and going long on commodities with low skewness. Additionally, commodities as an asset class are quite distinct from equities and therefore they can often be used as a diversifier for equities. Clearly, this strategy is profitable. A dollar invested in 1991 would result in more than $9 by 2019, which results in a yearly performance of nearly 8.5%. Moreover, the risk of this strategy is relatively low, with a maximal drawdown of around 16%. This results in a return to a drawdown ratio of slightly more than 0.5. Therefore, if the equity market becomes bad, our strategy should be still profitable. What is more important, let's look upon the worst months of the S&P 500 index, which are the blue bars in the graph. Now, we can compare it with the performance of this strategy, which are the orange bars in the graph. We can see the performance of the suggested strategy is at most times positive and therefore the investor would be able to hedge this equity portfolio. To sum it up, the lottery anomaly in commodities is alive and performs in a desirable way also this recent period. Moreover, the profitable strategy based on this anomaly could also serve as a huge head equities and it offers a profitability possibility to invest during times when equities are in bear markets. Thank you for your attention and do not forget to visit our website quantipedia.com for more trading strategies and investment analysis.